Hey guys, Colbert here. Welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today, we'll be doing a feature showcase of a champion that can allow you to duo the Sand Devils dungeon. Yes, you heard it right. You can duo it. Stage difficulty 24 and 25 will be showing both right here. We'll start with 25 though. And the champion that enables this is actually God Security. I mentioned her a week ago when we um, you know, just had the, the our first dip into the sand devil on how she is so good because of her revive and her revive with the cooldown reduction her big heal which enables the max hp to be recovered because of how bad that sand devil is and in general because she is neutral she is void affinity she's just extra extra good because that there's no issues with anything coming in from the boss being that that extra chance to crit on you and all that bad stuff that you can get as being a weak affinity all right so that being said god security is a void champion is difficult to get but the other two champions that i'll be featuring those are either something you have like ninja which you have to have been playing for a while. And Ninja will be featured for stage 24. And then stage 25, this will be actually the showcase on the Fusion. So the Fusion champion will be featured for 25. If we go, if we go over to Gdynshak, we understand on how good he is because of those bombs that do enough damage and then actually become poisons that are protected because the Sand Devil boss actually removes um, debuffs these poisons will not be removed because they will be protected and that is extra extra good because those allow for some extra damage being dealt his extra turns allows you to recover health by using regeneration sets which is how this team works it cannot work otherwise i would say and the stats required are quite rough so this team is not a team that i've discovered right this team has been discovered by diadia uh, I think he's a Ukrainian, I believe, YouTuber, and he featured both the team that I'll be showcasing today with God Secure and Niri and Gnishak and the God Secure and Niri and Ninja. Uh, he made both videos. Everything goes to him. I watched his videos and I thought to to cover it to you guys since it's uh, it's unlikely that you watch a, a um, Ukrainian YouTuber um and to discover these kind of strategies, you kind of have to be aware of the whole thing. So just sharing it that it's all uh, um, all belongs to him. Kudos to him for discovering this strategy. So getting things started, uh, let me show you on how how um, how the gear is for God Secure Nui, and then we'll show the gear for Gnishak, and then we'll do the showcase, and then we'll come back for the Ninja one. All right. So here's God Secure Nui. I think the stats required are very very strict in the sense of you require so much defense and so much health to make this work. I would say that instead of the immortal set, maybe if I had um, more of the of the newer set, but I'm on the test server right now, so I don't I don't even have the ability to craft them. The two piece set that gives you the damage reduction, the new one coming in from the forge pass that can actually be used, I think, instead of the immortal set. Uh, but since I'm on the test server, regeneration immortal seems to work fine but the stats required are 265 speed 5.4 thousand defense and 54 thousand health which is quite a lot quite a lot to get these are not easy stats if you see my gear right here i had to get doubles on speed all right doubles on speed here i had to have the hp percent somewhere on each piece all right either on the on the chest piece being defense percent or HP percent, wherever I could. Speed, defense percent here. Speed, HP, defense percent, double roll, singles over there. Triple on defense right here. These are not easy stats to get. Plus, I have full faction guardians. Plus, I have good classic arena masteries and great hole bonuses. All right. So, have that in mind before just deeping right into it. This is not an easy team to build. But if it's something that you might have in mind, you can actually do it. Um, <laughs> Of course, all of her skills are maxed out. And in terms of masteries, I actually copied exactly what Yaya did. So he didn't go with timely intervention. He went for the extra health El elixir of life. I found that this team is very squishy if you don't get like that over 5,000 defense, over 50,000 health on God Seeker. Because if she dies, she triggers her passive. And that's what breaks things. And then we have Gnishak, who has similar stats, but a lot of accuracy as well. So regen, 
and a lot of accuracy so over 530 is what you need in terms of accuracy 257 speed 3.8 thousand defense and 54,000 health almost you need the great hole bonuses for accuracy i can't stress this enough i even have faction guardians i get some from masteries and i get a lot from artifacts in terms of accuracy so getting all that might seem impossible, but it's an end game uh, kind of build that I'm showcasing. I have defense percent on gloves and to the chest piece, then going in with HP defense percent rolls there, HP accuracy, speed, defense, HP rolls. Like all of these are very good pieces that are usable in many different builds. If you have these pieces, you can do them in Hydra, you can use them in Faction Wars, you can use them. For Doom Tower, um, you know, the solo build, these these pieces are the ones that you usually keep for. So enough of that. Let's go in and actually see the run in action and uh, see how this goes. So this is the team right here. God Secure. You don't put Gnishak in the lead because that will revive him. So how this starts is, well, you'll see. The boss immediately goes, boom, kills you. God Secure revives. She revives Gnishak. Gnishak takes a turn because of that two turn sleep applies the bombs, the decreased attack, the bombs now become four poisons, and then the boss goes. The boss really, really hurts here. Even, even with the, um, the debuff there, the boss can really hurt, and this is what makes uh, this run challenging. Sometimes it will fail if you go with a lower stat than what I've shown before. The regeneration sets are really required because those help recovering the health that is um, the, the max health that is is lost, right? You have got security healing that up to full, but I, I think I'm, I'm pretty confident that that is still a little bit bugged from what I'm seeing. I think it's a little bit bugged and it's not recovering properly. Anyway, this, this is the run so far. I'll let it go for you guys to watch it. And then we'll come back for the ninja build for actually stage 24, not 25, because ninja is magic. We wouldn't put him in the in the force one so uh enjoy the rest of the run i'll see you in a bit this is not an a fast run but it's it's a run that you can have uh in your mind if you're trying to do the sand devil
So as you saw there, that was the run for 25 and actually pretty long run. But I think the ninja run is actually better because the ninja run actually can be much, much faster and is much more reasonable to farm that one instead if you can farm it fast enough. So let's get going with that one. We'll rebuild ninja. It's just the two champions, so it shouldn't be that long uh, to do. So now we're back. We basically moved all the gear that we have um, on Nishek for the previous showcase. And you put it on Ninja. But this time around, we have a little bit lower accuracy at 465, 253 on speed. We have a good amount of attack there, 3.6K and 43,000 health, 3,000 defense. This should be doable because Ninja is also good affinity in there. So we'll be getting those weak hits on him. And accidentally, I have reaction gear on him, reaction amulet. Um, I hope that doesn't affect the run and i even have a refresh accessory on him so i can remove those if we want to test it out without those but i don't think it should matter that much so let's go back to the sand devils necropolis we don't change anything on god secure it's basically the same build as before and uh, we're just gonna get gnishak out of there we're gonna put in ninja and uh, i think we're good to go so let's get this going and see this run stage 24 with ninja see how much faster this is and i imagine with brimstone this can be even faster if i had it on ninja i would imagine brimstone on ninja would be so so nice so yeah look at all that damage already um good damage already and we should be healing back to full because of the region sets and yeah when you cannot apply the hp burns you just do zero damage but um, next time around, the boss will hit us and die. Boom. Revive with God Secure and Eerie. There's Ninja doing his damage. There's the HP burn that we want to see. He even gets like a reset, but he only does the damage when uh, the sleep is on. So that's only going to happen every four turns. So that being said, this, this run should be way, way quicker because we already see at 40 seconds or so, we are at about, I want to say, 70% of the boss's health. And both seem healthy. Both seem healthy so far. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Yeah, Brimstone would, would have been perfect here. Especially because of those triggers doing all that damage. Um, and if you have a higher blessing on Ninja, you can actually make it um, so that I, I think Brimstone also gives accuracy, if I remember correctly. So that's easier on the stats as well. I think it gives health as well, plus speed if you have the six star. But the six star is obviously insane in terms of um, how hard it is to get it. So a minute 30 so far. Very, very nice. This is so unfortunate on how Ninja is not as easily accessible. Not as easily accessible, um, you know, anymore. Like you got to find somebody giving away his account to get Ninja. There's no other way. They did a tournament for Ultimate Death Knight. And I think 100% that players would be so happy out there if they ever did a ninja tournament um, and block out the people who have ninja, right? Block those out and give some, some other champion to those people, right? Give whatever, right? Like to me, give me whatever else. I don't want to be in that competition. Let others compete for it. I would be so happy with people getting ninja um, just because of how good he is. And he shows here. And I wonder if Cronam, that um, referral champion, actually would be comparable to ninja, at least for this. Um, I'm not sure because I, I don't think Chronom is magic affinity. Gotta remember. So here something happened with Ninja actually dying. We'll actually die now from the big AOE from the boss. Okay. We revive, right? Should revive Ninja. Okay. There's the HP burns and that should be enough. Like a three minute run. So much better. So much better. But that was very close into killing God Secure and Eerie there. So even with all those stats, remember the stats I showed you at the beginning, we are, are being very close. Oof, we actually died there. And this will be, uh, this will be a fail. I think that was like an unlucky crit in, in there, and which actually killed God Seeker. So I'll do this run one more time and uh, I'll let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, kudos to to Diadia for both of the builds. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.